This week we're talking all about the newest release from Polaroid, a familiar face with a few pluses. That's right, I'm talking about the Polaroid Now Plus, a classic look jacked up with new features for the modern photo popper. And yes, this is the first intro recorded on federal land. Um, I figured it was a special occasion, may as well. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Ben, and today, I really can't believe it, but I'm talking about the second camera the company Polaroid has released in the span of four months. That hasn't happened since the year 2004. That's 17 years ago. That's 17, that's, that's 17 years ago. Okay, well, after absolutely ripping dingers like duochrome, round frame film, and the Herring collab, and of course the Polaroid Go, the mothership has corked another one with the Polaroid Now Plus, the big brother to the Polaroid Now, and big daddy to the Polaroid Go. It's a confusing family dynamic. The Now Plus takes the Polaroid Now that came out in 2020 and pimps it out with Bluetooth features that significantly expand what the camera can do. The Now Plus comes as part of a sequence that follows Polaroid's rebrand in 2020. Back when they were named Polaroid Originals, they released the One Step 2 and then the One Step Plus, similar box type cameras to the Now series, but without some of the newer flourishes. Those came out in 2017 and 2018 respectively, and the Now dropped as the company launched their new cleaner Polaroid branding. The Now Plus is essentially an upgrade to their base model camera that enables features such as manual shooting, timer controls, aperture priority, remote shutter, counting on your fingers while talking, and much, much more. And those features are controlled via a very sexy revamped app that we'll get to shortly. And we will be sexualizing the app, and I am sorry about that. We are out here on our little road trip through the American West, visiting some national parks, bombing down Route 66, what have you. And what better travel companion to bring with me than the Polaroid Now Plus. One of the things I wanted to do on this trip, uh, experimenting with this camera, was figuring out what ways I would love to shoot with this that I don't normally get to do with my S670 and SLR680, which aren't exactly feature-rich cameras. With this having so many Bluetooth features, I was like, I gotta crack into these and figure out what is up with these. And will I have fun with them? Spoiler alert, yes I did. Much like a soccer player, one of the modes I got an absolute kick out of, and I know it's super basic, but the self-timer mode, um, I tried to take it around to the national parks and take shots in front of each sign, and being able to dial in the timer's duration was pretty nice because you know I had to run up to these signs and get into position and all that, and uh, I was really happy with how these came out. It was really fun to use the camera like that as like a little travel companion, which is you know what I was hoping to do out here. Um, another feature that really kind of blew me away was tripod mode and manual mode, doing long exposures on this thing at night. That's really something I've never done much of on Polaroid, and it was super fun to experiment with. I used tripod mode for this shot of this car. This shot is like insane. I can't believe how well this came out. I mean, the lighting balance is very challenging. It shows the light meter in the camera is very good, um, and the app makes very good use of it. So yeah, I had a pretty hyped time with this. I uh, loved bringing it around with me. And without further ado, let's get back to the episode and dig into these details a little bit more. Okay, so if you know me, if you know Benny Bags, you know I have a soft spot in my heart for the impossible I won. The first modern Polaroid camera that also had Bluetooth features and really set a remarkable precedent for what an instant camera could be in the age of smartphones and John Wick films, which, I really love. The issue with the i1 was that its battery was about as good as a go-kart in a Formula One race, aka not good. Those cameras barely work anymore. So the Now Plus is a welcomed addition to my camera roster. I never owned a One Step Plus, so it's nice to have this sweet piece of tech in the arsenal. For a basic rundown of the suite now plus, it's got a two zone autofocus system, one of which focuses from 0.4 meters to 1.2 meters, that's your portrait lens. Then the other lens focuses from 1.2 meters to infinity and beyond. Unlike the Now, the Now Plus also has a tripod socket, which is essential for some of the modes in the app, and it does have some onboard controls as well. You single tap the flash button to turn the flash off, 
long press the flash button for exposure compensation, then you can tap to go brighter or darker, press the plus button on the front for a 10 second timer, or double tap it for double exposures, and that's essentially the stuff you got on board. If those controls are like the hors d'oeuvres, your main course can be consumed via the smoking hot application that has been dipped in tangy barbecue sauce for this camera's release. It connects with the camera very easily. You don't really have to do anything besides open it while the camera's on. Now you've got all these creative options like the remote trigger, the self timer, which you can change to the duration of whatever you want up to 12 seconds, double exposure, aperture priority, where you can select the lens aperture from F11 to 64, tripod mode where you're letting the camera make its own automatic exposure determination in lower light environments, portrait mode for determining ideal distance for the portrait lens, light painting, and manual mode. All that's missing is a page that tells you that Lee Harvey Oswald didn't act alone. One of the best things this camera's offering is its manual mode, where you can select the shutter speed and the aperture. The thing that kind of blows my mind is the live light meter reading at the top of the screen that isn't using your phone's meter, but rather the camera's actual light meter. So if you move the camera around and, and point it at different light sources, you can see how that reading is changing and adjust your exposure settings accordingly. And this has been integrated before, but I also love how in self timer, double exposure and aperture priority, you can fine tune your exposure compensation settings much more precisely than the typical on camera switch. This is more like the exposure compensation wheel on an SX70, but with actual EV readings. Besides the app and on camera features, this kit is like a Royal Caribbean cruise magician. It has one more trick up its sleeve. It comes standard with five fun, freaky, fabulous filters. Starburst, red vignette, orange, blue, and yellow. Uh, the lens also has a filter sensor, which aids the light meter in compensating for the difference in light that passes through the filter. I think it's an awesome bonus that these are included. The Starburst one in particular is really fun for me, and the red vignette one is really, it's a cool idea. It's a very unique design, and even has the cutout for the filter sensor so that it doesn't expose for the vignette. It's just cute. Polaroid is trying to maximize creative options here. I think it's a great idea. It's a huge leg up over the competition, which lacks this sort of thing. Your mileage, I think, will depend on how much you like using the app. You know, it's a great app. It works extremely well, but it is an app, and that's not necessarily for everyone when you're using an analog medium like this. I'd be curious if in the future they could integrate some of these more advanced features into the body of the camera. I know that would certainly add a lot of stuff to the camera. <laughs> you know, even the i1 didn't have that, but a boy can dream. In terms of swag, this camera will be offered in three options, white, black, and blue-gray. I really like that the stripe has returned to the area uh, above the film door, where on the Polaroid now it's on top. It's just that classic look everyone thinks of when they think of Polaroid cameras. I'm talking about the stripes on the camera at this point. I think we need to get to the pros and cons. Let's do it. Pros, the app features are really broad. There's basically no limit to what you can do with this. Uh, the filter set, I love that this was included. It may seem like a, a small thing to some people, but I just think this makes sense. I think cameras should come with stuff like this. And it even includes a lens cap, which is really cute and makes me feel safe at night. I think one more pro too is that Polaroid is really leaning into the creativity aspect of the format. As their target audience widens, they're not really losing that core drive, which I think is why people shoot Polaroid in the first place. Fuji doesn't really offer that kind of thing with their cameras. They're not catering really to that audience. So I think it's a good move. Cons, the two zone autofocus system. I think it could do with some expansion. If Polaroid can get back to the five zones of autofocus with some sort of LED reading in the viewfinder, I think that would really set my body on fire with the ecstasy. And like I said, I'm fully used to how the camera settings work. They're committed to memory at this point, but I am feeling AMB. Add more buttons, throw everything on here. Switches historically don't get stitches. In terms of money, which keep in mind is just points, the camera costs $140 USD and 150 pounds slash euros. This is up from the $100 Polaroid now. I think for the features and the filters, it's a pretty reasonable uptick. Well, I hope you find your creative spark with the Polaroid now. Plus, I'm here for you if you have any comments or questions below, or you can find me on Instagram at the.instantgram. And thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and be a sweetie and just mess up that subscribe button for me. Stay tuned for more views, breakdowns, shoots, and all things instant. Bye. Plus.